Hey, so this is another update on Armadale Capital, um, who are developing their graphite project in Tanzania. Um, it's a high grade, large resource in Tanzania, and um, the news is starting to come thick and fast now. And this week they announced that they're going to be, they've commissioned a company called Battery Limits in Perth, Australia, to uh, expand the scope of their definitive feasibility study, which is due for the end of the year to do some downstream analysis and testing on um, the product to see whether it is suitable for battery cells. And the recent RNS we got on the purities uh, being higher up to 97% are all leading towards uh, this, this sort of conclusion. So this is, this is great news because this product itself would command premium prices as I alluded to on my last update video. And uh, so the company are pressing ahead with that. And this is just another part of the process of the DFS, which is due at the end of the year. And what I wanted to highlight really was that uh, it's clear that the company are, are trying to go down that route and um, look to see if they can get the, the more sort of premium pricing. And BlackRock, who are a, uh, they're a neighbor of uh, Armadale, um, on the, in, in fact, on the same Mahenj Liandu project, and they are actually going great guns on ASX at the moment. They've delivered some really good news recently and, and, and in itself is a company that I would be interested in investing in. I've obviously chosen Armadale as a lower market cap and slightly behind, uh, hence offering the same upside potential. But, but BlackRock uh, struck a recent um, off-take deal for up to $2,161 a tonne for their project uh, product. And um, it was based upon uh, very high purities that they produced from a pilot uh, exercise. Um, but interestingly enough, if we just look at where Armadale is sitting at the moment with their sort of 97% purities, they struck a, a deal because, I mean, graphite's basket priced. So it's basket, basket price across the different purity levels and flake sizes. But uh, BlackRock managed to strike uh, $1,490 a ton for their 98% product, which is um, significantly higher than what you get for the 95% purity product. And um, if you consider that um, Armadale's uh, all-in costs are likely to be around about sort of $450, $475 dollars a ton, then you're looking at a huge margin there. And ultimately, this is going to impact on the DFS economics, given that they've recently announced higher grades as well, so they can mine that in the early years. So this is all going to hopefully positively impact on the DFS uh, beyond the scoping study numbers, which are already fantastic at 35 million capex, 350 million MPV, 122% IRR. So I thought that was significant news this week. And if you look at the... Um, market cap of BlackRock, who uh, are just slightly ahead, again, um, the Armadale, similar to Walkabout, they've got their mining license, and this is all under the new regime in Tanzania, by the way, and so did Walkabout, so so that's, that bodes very well in terms of the mining license process, and um, BlackRock have delivered their DFS, they're going for a higher annual tonnage, but higher capex operation than Armadale, Armadale going for a lower tonnage per year operation, but with much lower capex. But remember, that's based on 25% of the Armadale resource. So <laughs> there is scope for huge upside there. It's all about the product quality and the basket prices where you can strike the prices at. Once you've done that, you can then scale up and expand the resource out. So at circa 7.5 million market cap versus uh, BlackRock, which is suddenly, which is sitting at 25 million today, but previously hit 35 million recently, and then you look at Walkabout, who are sitting at 45, hit 60. Um, you can see that there's potentially, you know, if things go to plan, of course, huge upside, even from where Armadale sits today, having had a significant rise over the past few weeks. The news is coming thick and fast. The DFS is towards the end of the year. Plenty more news to come. Um, binding off takes will be one to look out for. It's uh, a, an interesting proposition from this market cap. It's definitely worth doing some research.